Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question. How will you handle a column such as comments that has more than 255 characters in Excel at row number 1000? So what is happening here? Uh, let me open this uh, file. I have some records here. So if you see these records, uh, ID, name and comments. Uh, and on row number 16, I didn't put all the way to 1000. The goal was uh, to explain what exactly is happening. So you can have the rows after any um, row, uh, first eight rows so maybe it is uh, row number nine or this can be thousand so what is happening here uh, when we uh, create an Excel connection manager in SSIS package it read first eight rows to make a decision about the data type and data length of these uh, columns so in our case what is happening uh, it is going to read the first one as integers and name as a uh, and worker uh, and uh, comments uh, will be going the same way and worker 255 so it will read that uh, and it will not consider uh, this uh, 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 data point or the cell uh, that has more than 255 characters on uh, row number 16 so Excel, Excel connection manager with that we understand uh, it read first eight rows uh, to make a decision about the data types and data lengths uh, and uh, how we will handle uh, these scenarios uh, when uh, we have uh, data that is more than uh, 255 or that does not follow the same uh, data length uh, of uh, first eight rows. One way to handle this one, uh, let me close this one, let's go to the another fi uh, file, I made a copy of this one. One way to handle this one, we introduce a dummy record with more uh, data length and the data type. Uh, so what, what is happening? So we are putting this dummy record and forcing Excel Connection Manager to read uh, these first uh, eight rows, including this one, and make a correct decision. So if we have uh, this data length uh, more than 255 characters uh, in the first row, it is going to read this uh, uh, column as a uh, text uh, so it will be n text uh, uh, data type for this uh, column and then we can convert to the uh, other data types in the SSIS and finally write to our destination that's one way we write the dummy record and then uh, we we can uh, remove this dummy records by using conditional split uh, we can write the expressions on id where id is equal to zero and uh, redirect this one to one output and other records uh, to the uh, uh, good uh, um, or uh, you can call it any uh, output name we can call this one good records output uh, and th they will be written uh, to the final destination this was the one way to handle it introducing a, a dummy record on the first uh, eight uh, eight rows uh, any of that you can introduce on the seven number you can introduce on the third number or fourth uh, but i put on the very first one right after the names and uh, what else uh, can be done we can go to the let me go to the registry editor and that's where it read these eight rows there is a value I'm gonna show you you go to the H key local machines uh, machine and then go to software and then uh, you go to WOW for uh, uh, 6432 node and then you go to Microsoft and then you go to the jet and inside you, you go 4.0 and then engines and then you have excel here here one property is called type guess rows if you double click here you will see eight here so that's uh, the number our excel connection manager is using uh, to guess the uh, data types of uh, those rows so here we have eight uh, it means it is going to read the first eight rows uh, from the file and uh, guess uh, the data type of those uh, rows and consider for the entire column even uh, on the maybe f row 16 or maybe row thousands we have some uh, data uh, data values uh, they they are they are not exactly matching with the data type of uh, first eight rows so one thing we can do we can change this property to zero and uh, make the excel uh, connection ma manager or force excel connection manager to read the entire file before making a decision about the data type of uh, those uh, columns so we have two solutions uh, either we introduce uh, a dummy record in our excel file and uh, 
uh, remove this one uh, while we are loading the record by using conditional split or we use uh, registry setting and make uh, this one to zero and uh, um, put our ex uh, excel connection manager in a situation it has to read the entire file uh, before it make the decision about the data type of uh, uh, those uh, columns so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you next video